What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 update. Today, 21H1 update came out and it's the latest and greatest update. So there's two different ways. First way, which you can do, click on start and then press on this little gear. Settings going to open up and right here, press on update and security. And once this window is going to appear, it's going to start checking for update. And most likely your Windows 10 version 21 H1 update is going to be available here. And right here, you just have to click download and install and then go through the installation process. But if by some reason you're checking for updates and you don't see this update. So here's what we need to do. Minimize this window, open your internet browser and go to this website. And I'll put link in the description below. And right here, we need to download Windows Media Creation Tool. So right here, just click on Download Tool now. Once tool is downloaded, you can run it from here or navigate to your download folder. And in download folder, double click on Media Creation Tool 21H1 executable. And then once we get to the screen right here, we need to click on Accept. And then once we're going to get to this screen, there's a couple options. We can upgrade this PC now. You can choose this. Or for example, if you just would like to create USB flash drive, DVD, or download ISA. For example, if you are downloading for another computer, or if you have multiple computers and you're going to be using that same file to upgrade on all of the computers. So that way you won't have to download Windows 10 upgrade on every single one of your computer. So in this case, Either choose upgrade this PC now and click next or I'm going to create installation media. Then right here, I'm going to leave everything as default and then next. And right here again, we can either choose USB flash drive or ISO. I'm just going to choose ISO because I'm going to be putting on a server and moving around, but you can create USB flash drive, but your flash drive have to be at least eight gigs. Choose which one you like and then press next. And then right here, since I chose ISO, I'm going to save it to a desktop and then I'm going to click on save. And now we just have to wait until it's going to download Windows 10 upgrade. Once the download is complete, we can click on finish here. And that's it. ISO file is created. It's right here on a desktop. So next thing we need to do, we need to double click on it. This window is going to appear and right here, we're going to double click on setup. And then this window is going to appear right here. We can click on change how windows set up download updates. I'm going to leave download updates because it's recommended. And then I'm going to leave this check mark unchecked and then I'm going to press next. Now it's going to check for the updates. And then at this window, we need to press and accept. Now we have to wait for the updates to download. And once you get to the screen right here, you can change what to keep. And right here, there's a couple options. Keep personal files and apps, keep personal files only or nothing. Basically, it's going to perform clean install. We're going to keep personal files and apps. And then we're going to click on next. But also I would recommend before you do any of that, make sure you do a backup just in case if something's going to go wrong and then you'll have to revert back or maybe if operation system will be corrupted. Usually that doesn't happen, but just to be on a safe side and then press on next. And that's it. Once you get to this screen right here, we just need to click on install. And that's it. And now we just have to wait until it's going to install latest Windows 21 H1 update. And most likely during this process, I'm going to switch over to my camera because computer is going to reboot multiple times and my OBS is going to stop recording. Once upgrade is finished, right here, we need to log back into our laptop. If you have a password, type your password now and then press enter.
And now we just have to wait for it to finish its setup. Once setup is complete, you're back to your desktop. And right here, if you click on start and go back to settings, system, and then scroll down and click on about. And right here, if you scroll down, you can see that you have latest version install 21H1. And this is pretty much it. Now you can enjoy all the latest features and functions that Windows 10 is offering. If this video is helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.